Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly value, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach, and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So we got yet another one. Now, the heading of this says mother getting backlash for showing her eight-year-old daughter how to twerk. Now, they're saying in the comments that that's not the mother of that little girl, like that's her sister or somebody else, and the little girl's like not quite eight and she's a little bit older than that and they were saying that as if this excuses what's happening um i'm going to play the video without the sound just because there's music in it but this is what we teach this is what's being taught to our little girls not teaching them how to be a wife we're not teaching them how to be respectful. We're not teaching them how to respect themselves. We're not teaching them how to be modest. We're not teaching them about femininity. We're not teaching them about the value of their bodies and things of that nature. We're teaching them the first steps in how to hoe, how to be a hoe, how to use her sexuality that she doesn't even truly understand yet and just how to use that. It, it For right now, it's not being necessarily utilized for getting a man or having sex. But this is the problem with single mother-led households or households without a dominant male presence within them. Because see, a daddy would never allow that. A daddy, that girl's, that girl, if that girl's daddy was around, if he was there and assuming that he was in control of that household, that little girl would never be doing it, especially in front of a camera, especially to be going viral where there are so many um, people who like children around, trolling around the Internet that's getting a nice little eye full of this little girl doing something that she ain't got no business. My grandmama used to say she she ain't got no butt, but she got a gristle. She she ain't got she ain't got nothing yet, but a little gristle. She moving around. She ain't got nothing cuz she a little girl, she ain't supposed to have nothing. And this is not even this is inappropriate all the way around. And then you've got people in the comment section talking about oh they just having fun. I'm so tired of black women making excuses for this type of tomfoolery, talking about we just having fun. When y'all going to stop playing? When y'all going to stop playing? Y'all play all day. Y'all play so much. Y'all play too much. Everything is a game. Everything is a joke. Everything is, oh, it's not that serious. Everything is, you know, whatever. Everything is, oh, you know, it's not that bad. You know, we did worse. And, and there's there's always a million excuses for everything. No accountability. Only a few people was in the comment section like, okay, this is ridiculous. Right? Like, let's take a look at some of these comments. Because a lot of times it's the comments for me. Right? Right? Somebody says she need to be learning about multiplications. Right. Do she know her timetables? Because I swear to God. Right. This, this comment was interesting. So, I mean, yeah, that's definitely outrageous and ridiculous. Shame on the mom. But that doesn't mean her daughter can't grow up to be a doctor or lawyer or something. And I thought that that was an interesting comment because... Her growing up to be to have a certain profession doesn't mean she's not gonna grow up to be a hoe if that's what you teach her to do. This is doctors and lawyers that's hoeing, it's doctors and lawyers, 
female doctors and lawyers that don't have any value to themselves. It's female doctors and lawyers that sexually objectify themselves and don't have any value as women. You know, this whole mindset that we've got that a certain profession indicates who you are as a person or if you've got a certain type of profession, that means that you're a certain type of person. And, and it's so it's so inaccurate. Like, because since when? When you got all these professional women who are who are inadequate as women, they're inadequate as wives. Completely lost when it comes to how to be feminine, completely in the dark about what it takes to be a wife, what it takes to be on, on in a marriage, what it takes to do. teach your daughters this. We so busy teaching them how to hoe. We teach them that. And then we try to blame it on men like men are coming and praying on girls to turn them out. No, their mothers are doing it. The older women that are in charge of them teach them this. And they don't even teach it to them in the context of a marriage either. You know what I mean? Like teach your girls about her sexuality. When she gets of age, talk to her about, you know, sex. Talk to her. Have age appropriate conversations with her about her sexuality, about her feelings, about how to utilize her, se her sexuality, but in a positive way, utilize it within the confines of a marriage with a man that love her and value her and take care of her. And not, this is, this is teaching her, she should put this on the internet for likes and views and clicks and that it's not a big deal. She's being taught this isn't a big deal. This is what this is. This is why so many of our young girls can claim that they've had some type of S.A. Uh, incidents before they turn 18, because the women in charge of them teach them this. There aren't any men around their fathers specifically or strong men that bring order to these households. And so these mothers bring these other men into the homes and around these children and they're not watching them. There's no structure. And the men that they invite into their homes, whether it be temporary or not, will become inappropriate with these girls. Not all the time, but a lot of times inappropriate with these girls. And you teach them how, you teach the girls how to, you know what I'm saying, do this stuff and be sexual before she even understands the consequences and the ramifications of, of a female being sexual around males. You can't do it. You really can't do it. You can't be sexual around males. You can't do it around your fathers and brothers because it's just inappropriate on every level, right? You can't do it around your male cousins and this and that because your cousin's going to touch you. Your cousin's, your cousin's going to touch you. They don't feel, your male cousins don't feel the level of disgust at the thought of you being a sexual being like your brother and your father do. Your brother and your father have a natural disgust for that because it's not a relationship that would ever be acceptable. Your cousin, not so much. And we know that in the black community, we kissing cousins has always been a thing. Okay. Cousins be attracted to each other. All right. Now they may or may not do anything with each other, but definitely Everybody had that cousin that they was like, you know what, if you wasn't my cousin, right? Because the thought will cross your mind between cousins in a way that brothers and sisters and those closer family relationships would never. 
the reason I'm talking about the cousins in it is because usually when a girl experiences SA, she's doing it at the hands of a person that's familiar to her, not a stranger. at this young age they don't know when to turn it off you see what i'm saying they don't really comprehend all of the nuances and the consequences and the ramifications and the outcomes of that so she'll do that in front of somebody not really realizing that she really shouldn't or how that other person is really taking that in she don't know because you've made it a joke to her. You've made it lighthearted. You've made it not a big deal. So she'll do it somewhere thinking it ain't a big deal. And you've set her up for some unscrupulous individual to take advantage, to take it to a place where it's criminal a place where it may traumatize her, a place where, you know what I mean? Touch her inappropriately or say something highly inappropriate that makes her afraid or makes her scared or confuses her. It's these, it's these female led clans that don't have and don't want any male structures that teach their girls this foolishness here and then cry later about all of the negative repercussions of having done it but it but excusing it in the moment talking about we just having fun somebody else in the comment section was like oh they from New Orleans. Now I know there's a whole little bounce thing, little bounce but that the, that bounce culture that's not no excuse. It's twerking. I don't make a differentiation between that. I just needed to say that because all of that was important in the context of this. We don't take none of this stuff seriously. And this is why we have all of these negative repercussions and outcomes and traumas in our community. Our girls grow up with a trauma because you taught them that doing this was no big deal. It wasn't a big deal. And then you also, through your lack of structure and discipline, you'll invite predators around. You yourself so blind that you can't detect when a, a person is going to be a predator. Right. You you can't discern it because you don't got no discernment because you didn't even have enough discernment to not teach your daughter that in the first place. So I know your discernment and your spiritual eye is closed. Know that for a fact. And you will invite a demon around your kids and then be surprised that the demon was on demon time with your kids. You would think that mothers and women would want to protect their children. Well, the way that you protect them is that you teach them modesty and decency. You don't teach them this. Now, this is on the Internet for some slime ball to be looking at it and having crazy thoughts about a little girl. This is on this is on her family for putting her out there like that. So some scumbag can be somewhere having ridiculous thoughts and feelings as he watches or she why because not even just dudes, because it's all kinds of scumbags to watch a little girl and feel some type of way. Jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, is The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.